feel like I'm low key exposing myself. So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra, and you're watching KP Cam. So I realized that I never, you know, talk about any new people that come to my channel. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kendra, aka KP, because I'm the one you want to be. Hey. Okay, but before we even get started, make sure that y'all subscribe to my channel. That's what we're not gonna do. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Everything will be linked down below. Follow my personal page, my business page. If you're really trying to support, just go ahead and follow them pages. Like, literally, it's just a follow. I will follow you back on all of them. Like, you can send me a DM if you're from YouTube or whatever, and we can talk, sweetie. But yeah, that's just that on that. I just want to let y'all know to go ahead and get into that. I just want to give y'all a life update because a lot of people have been wondering well i don't want to say a lot of people but i feel like i have not spoken a lot of stuff and i will be speaking on it now i really didn't plan on it but i just feel like i had to do an intro video before i start putting out more bangers for y'all for the for the rest of the year y'all let's just talk about 2020 before we try to transition to 20 21 so there are a lot of things and as this video unfolds you will realize what i'm talking about but um i was not gonna speak on it until i got out of it like i just really felt like i wanted to give like a success story instead of just like a pending story but neither here nor there we're gonna start this year off right with some manifestation and let's just get into it so first off y'all I've graduated college, um, 2020 grad or whatever. Um, I graduated with a bachelor's of science in architecture engineering. If you didn't know, I went to a &T. I mean, y'all should know I do the GEO vlogs. Like, check me out. Check me out. Okay. And, you know, we would have been lit for homecoming this year, but, you know, the pandemic. We in a panoramic. But, um, yeah, I graduated. I really didn't have anything lined up after that because I know everybody's going to be like, oh, so what do you do now? Da, 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 da. So, yeah, I didn't have anything lined up pending my graduation. Um, I really was kind of surprised that I even graduated, not going to lie, because it just seemed like, um, I don't know if I told y'all, but they told me that I was going to be able to graduate on time back in like last January or like last August or so. Not this past August, but the August before that. So like, I just felt like I was grinding and trying to do whatever I needed to do to get out. So by the time I was done, I was just like, wow, like I'm done, like I'm, I'm just done. And you know, we didn't have a graduation or anything, which if y'all wanna know how I feel about it, I mean, I feel like as a 2020 grad, we got a lot more gratification um not just from that one graduation day but like everybody's trying to celebrate us in general um do i still want to cross the stage and wear my outfit and have people screaming my name yes because i wanted to do like a stroll or something across the stage and then maybe come out and stroll with my sisters like i wanted to give a real graduation of course but you know i'm neither sad nor um you know really down about that because i just feel like i got my paper finally got my degree in the mail it's hanging up in my room and that's just that um so from there as i told y'all i started my own business so around i want to say like april or so i just started to get like a vision that i wanted to start my own business and i had realized that i don't like my major like i just feel like that's not something that i really 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 interested like it's not really a passion i'm not gonna say i completely dislike it but i just don't think it's my passion but obviously i've already got the degree 
like it's really kind of too late to like back out of it now i'm happy to at least just have a degree under my belt just an achievement and i don't know if y'all know like there are plenty of people that don't go the route that they got their degree in it happens all the time but i always said that i would try in my industry see if i like it you know obviously it pays well so if it's not like too much of a burden where i'm unhappy then i would definitely stay so that's something that i had planned on doing i had spoke about starting a business did i know that i was going to start my business in august i mean in july or over the summer no i did not y'all i definitely just thought it would be later down the line because i have a list of stuff that i want to do it's so much that i want to do y'all like I would write a book, I would start a nonprofit, I would try to do like painting, like I would do so much. Like y'all don't understand, there's so much in life that I want to do. And like I literally just have to figure out where it's gonna fit into my life. So the fact that I was able to start my business, I actually feel like that's a huge accomplishment. I mean, a lot of people pat me on my back, and I just honestly sometimes feel like it's nothing. But I had to stop sleeping on myself, y'all. 2021, we're not gonna sleep on ourselves. Our achievements are our achievements, whether they're large or small. Don't take for granted that you did something on your own and can say that you did it. So that is why I don't count my business out. But let's really talk about my business though. So after July, um, August was my birthday. I did a little bit of stuff. And then I want to say around September, um, my sales started to go down. So I was making good money in August and I was making good money in September. But by the time October hit, my sales went plummeting down, like plummeting down from like having five orders a week and making $300 a week to literally maybe one order every two weeks, two orders like every two weeks. So it was just like, another downfall like okay we didn't have a graduation that's a downfall then it was like okay sales are going down that's another downfall i was blessed and i've said this in my other video i was blessed to have um money from refunds and stuff to able to fund my business and do a lot of stuff that i've been doing over the summer but at the same time i didn't have any job over the summer i mean i tried to work with Amazon with a Whole Food shopper, but I only went one day, and I had I had a couple other jobs that I just had, and it just didn't stick. Okay, so I had a couple checks, but it was really not enough to fund my living. So I was focusing solely on my business, and then my business income started to plummet. So that was another like oh my gosh and i will say and i will admit that like i was falling into a depression like i would have waves of like okay what is my purpose like what am i supposed to do in life am i doing what i need to be doing and of course like you know you have to pray about it and try to figure out what you want to do or what where is god trying to move you but it's like sometimes it is really 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 hard to see when like i hadn't really you know sales are going down so i don't have no motivation to get up i don't have any motivation to keep pushing because i was pushing before and i got no results so it's like and it hurt more because i did i was doing well at first so to know the potential of your business and it not get there is like really sad but then i also see people that's like they've been in business for two years and it's finally jumping off where they can live off their business whereas for me i have been in business for maybe three four months like you're lucky you know to have the success that you have so that was a thing around i want to say november 1st i had like another wave of like okay things are turning around and then december 1st had another wave of it's turning around and um december i kind of i kind of was never home i was always out doing something so i stopped kind of being consistent with a lot of stuff with my business but um you know i i wasn't down and out then like i was not broke at that point i was getting there like I, I started to see my funds um really depreciate to the point where it's like okay 
you're broke like not oh i'm just saying i'm broke because i don't want to spend this money but no like sis you're broke so by then i was like okay by january there's going to be another change because like i told y'all it was a repetitive thing that every first of the month you know there would be some type of change some type of good news something that boosted my spirit to like keep going keep going january 1st hit i had a great new year's i'm sorry i did not vlog it for y'all but it really wasn't much for y'all see i just had a good time but with that like january 1st came and left the first week of january came and left the second week of Jer january came and left and i promise y'all like i was just in a rut like literally everybody has been not everybody my family has been on my back about oh you need to start working you need to start working you need to start working and it's just like i've been putting in applications i don't want to settle for a retail job i'm sorry i know some people are like oh well that's dumb like if you really wanted to work you would work Whoo! this is about to make me mad but it's just like y'all when you know your worth you do not want to settle for something like that like i have a whole engineering degree what do i look like getting paid ten dollars at a retail place that cares nothing about me isn't going to benefit me in a long way none of that experience is going to transfer over to something that i actually um would do in my career field so it's like what is the point point? and at the time you know pending the last couple months i was getting income to not feel like you know i have to mooch off of people or i have to ask my parents for money or anything like that because i don't i don't ask my parents for money i do still live with them but i don't ask for anything okay anything they decide to give me that's on them because i never ask so fast forward to now and i just feel like today has been a switch i may or may not i'm not gonna speak on everything but i may or may not have a job um in place um at an engineering firm that i may start in february um i also just like i just left for interview for um just michael's the craft store because they opened up a new craft store and they were just having a hiring event so i tried to go there just so you know i can get the whole stigma of like oh like there's plenty of jobs out there you could be working oh but whatever and i don't know if anybody else agrees with this but the richmond job market is very slim okay y'all unless you want to work retail or work at a call center the job force is very slim and there's other stuff that i want to do y'all it's so much that i want to do and you know sometimes telling people all your goals isn't beneficial so i'm not gonna tell y'all everything but at the same time there's so much i want to do but like literally with the lack of experience it's kind of tough to do i have no background in some of the most stuff i want to do so we'll see y'all um i will definitely keep y'all updated with everything um as for like me and me being depressed because i will say y'all like the first two weeks like i've been in bed I haven't had no motivation to get up. Um, I just been down because literally y'all the first I thought I had a job in place. Um, I had an interview with a recruiter. I had um, she said she was going to give a good recommendation to the manager at the location. They said we would have to set up an interview. He never got back to me. And then they sent me an email. I got this email literally January 1st saying that they have move forward with another candidate so it's like that was like a low blow and it's just like you know you just think everything gonna change you know in a timely manner like i said you know just from repetition that's what i just assumed so <sighs> that's where i was at and lately you know it's still been kind of like that a little bit but lately i have had i feel like god is working in my favor like he's been putting people in my life or pulling them toward me um that's been giving me motivation not even motivation but just pushing me to stay awake child because right now if ain't no change you know i just i i start to get to another 
plummet again so i mean shout out to tia shout out to charlton shout out to zoe shout out to sydney because those are probably the main people that be blowing up my phone and um part of me be like oh like i'm tired of talking all day but at the same time i'm glad that they call me because it gives me a reason to get up like i have to get up to talk i don't have to get up and talk to them but i just feel like you know it's forcing me not to go back to bed because i will sleep all day so that's where i'm at that's where i'm at right now also today has been a very big change like i was saying and to explain more about that um today i reached 600 followers on my business page and my job followers does not mean sales but i have 600 followers on my business page which means that means i'm only 400 away from a thousand and y'all my original goal was to hit 600 followers by february 1st because i'm trying to keep in the realm of like each month i would gain 100 followers so i've been in business for six months january 3rd so you know that would equate to 600 followers in january so the fact that we already here and you know february we like we already have extra time to build more followers to get 700 in february i'm just super duper blessed super duper thankful um now we just need to transfer those followers into sales um, i actually got two sales from two of my friends which i'm really really appreciative like honestly y'all nowadays like before i meant it but like now i really mean it like y'all orders literally make my day like it makes my day knowing that somebody still believes in my business wants to support me and um you know puts down some coin for my merchandise that i think is very much valid and you know people should take advantage so i also have an announcement that i want to place in this video as well um also comment hmm, comment a red heart if you've made it this far in the video and actually listen to the video um but this is an answer y'all i've been working on putting out a clothing brand um right now we're going more so for like the hoodie wave i'm trying to put out beanies and i'm trying to put out masks um and i want to put out sweatpants too y'all but i've been having a hard time finding vendors for the sweatpants we're not even vendors it's a whole long story that i'm making elaborate on in another video but that's what i'm putting out so far i do want to get more into clothing and just slapping my brand name on it on some nice clothing you know but we're gonna start i'm gonna start with the valentine's look it's gonna be called self-love collection and i'll probably put pictures right here so that or i'll put pictures right here so that y'all can see what it's giving um it i will be dropping the merchandise on my website let me look at my calendar I will be dropping the merchandise on my on my website on the 29th of January. So on the 29th of January, you will be able to purchase these hoodies. And I, my camera had just died, but makes that's why it's imperative for y'all to follow my pages. I will be trying to think of a perspective, y'all. This is my vision. I'm trying to give you know Victoria's Secret is to pink, as to like American Eagle is to airy. You know how like they have branches off of their company so i'm definitely not getting rid of the k collection but i am starting a new company called drip by kp i'm probably gonna add drip by kp to my llc so we only going up from here like it's just so like i don't think y'all understand unless unless you're like this like when you have so it's not even just goals it's just stuff that you want to do in life it's just so much that you want to do in life. It's hard to just restrict yourself to just one little thing. But at this point, I have learned that you have to start somewhere. Like, you got to start somewhere. You can't, you know, jump around, flip, dip, flop all over the place and never, um, you know, actually get something stable. You know, you want to have something to fall back on always. So always, always, always have something to fall back on, but don't look at it as a crutch either. So yeah that's my life right now i feel like i'm low-key exposing myself 
but oh let me put let me put out a couple goals this year y'all because it's 2021 i asked y'all y'all goals let me tell y'all mine because we're manifesting this whole year um i could already see it going so fast oh chow i just i already can't keep up February is around the corner but um i should have brought my planner that has everything in it but some of my goals this year is to um, secure a job, which I see coming sooner than later, um, a job in my field, um, as well as move out of my parents' house, which that's a goal for the summer. I do want to go on at least three trips this year, so that's in the work. Um, hopefully, we'll have homecoming. That'll be considered a trip. But um, this summer, you know, I'm trying to move out. I'm trying to turn up for my birthday as well. What else did I say? Of course, I want my business to prosper times 10. Um, the apparel thing is something that was a goal. So my apparel line this year. I'm definitely gonna keep y'all updated. I wanna do more vlogs, y'all, but honestly, lately, I have not left the house. Like, I don't leave the house because gas is too expensive and I have nowhere to go. So, with that being said, you know, once I start living my life for real, once I start living my life again, um, you know, there'll be more vlogs. But I will be doing a couple sit-down videos for y'all. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this. For the people that actually care about me and want to know what's going on with me, um, thank you for actually watching this video. For the people that being nosy, I appreciate y'all too because y'all giving me views. Also, oh yeah, let's put a goal for this channel. For this channel... We're still going to try to be consistent. Content is going to give what I decide to put out. <laughs> yeah, I hope this channel grows. It would be nice if I at least hit a thousand subscribers this year. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do Vlogmas this year. So, yeah. If you made it this far in the video, comment. Comment where the money resides. All right. We going. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. Okay, let me tell y'all something. I'm doing something real big this month. Any deal that y'all got and they beating us, I'm going to beat about $400. Just give me your bin and the paper because I'm asked. What the what? What a money reside. 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 Yes, in the comments, comment where the money reside. Where the money reside. That's how I'm feeling this year. I want to go where the money reside. I'm tired of being broke. I've been broke for a minute now and I'm tired. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being broke. So with that being said, I'm ready to be rich. I'm ready to be rich and I'm ready to be rich. Okay, and that's all I have to say. Comment down below where the money reside if you made it this far. If you didn't make it this far and you commented where the money reside. Okay, you want to go where the money reside. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I'm, I've talked enough. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, sis. But I know you want to see more of me. Also, y'all, follow me on my Instagram page, on my TikTok. I'm going to maybe delete my Twitter because I'm not on Twitter. But neither here nor there. Everything will be linked down in the description below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Do Sis. Okay, this is all I gotta say for 2021. Okay. Hey, oh shit, I think I'm pregnant, but I don't see nobody. These bitches trying to come my way before they even ready. I got a couple of bitches mad cause I don't fuck with them no more. Why you speaking on me for? Woo! Do it, 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 do it. You say you unbothered? What you speaking on me for? What? Do it, 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 do it,